In this edition of Manned Space, we remember the flight of Liberty Bell 7 and take a look at a collectible 40 years in the making. Please watch for upcoming videos at least twice a week, during which I'll discuss the history of the space program by highlighting artifacts and memorabilia from my extensive space collection. Also, please like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more great content about manned space. Only America's second manned space flight, Liberty Bell 7 was launched from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Launch Complex on July 21, 1961. In command was Virgil I. Gus Grissom, a veteran of the United States Air Force. He was among America's first seven astronauts selected by NASA in 1959. Planned as a suborbital flight, Grissom rode his Mercury Redstone rocket to a maximum altitude of nearly 115 miles and traveled about 150 miles downrange from the launch site. During the brief flight, Grissom tested the Mercury spacecraft systems using small thrusters aboard the spacecraft to maneuver around. Once maximum altitude was achieved, the spacecraft began its descent back toward Earth. Five minutes and 15 seconds after launch, three retro rockets fired to slow the spacecraft for its return through the Earth's atmosphere. Then, nearly 9 minutes and 40 seconds after liftoff, a drogue parachute deployed when the spacecraft had descended to 22,000 feet, slowing Liberty Bell 7's fall to 365 feet per second. Seconds later, the main chute deployed at 10,000 feet, further slowing the descent to approximately 30 feet per second. 15 minutes and 30 seconds after launch, Gus Grissom and his Liberty Bell 7 spacecraft splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean some 300 miles downrange of the launch site. Following splashdown, Grissom remained inside his watertight spacecraft attending to some housekeeping matters. Then, according to Grissom, without warning, the main hatch cover detonator fired, blowing the cover from the spacecraft, causing it to quickly begin filling with water. Soon, helicopters from the aircraft carrier USS Randolph arrived on scene and attempted valiantly to prevent the water-filled spacecraft from dipping below the ocean's surface. The weight of the Liberty Bell 7 quickly became too much for the Sikorsky helicopter and it was soon released whereupon it quickly sank. Grissom himself was picked up and carried back to the safety of the awaiting recovery vessels. The exact cause of the blown hatch was never determined. Grissom would go on to command the first flight of Project Gemini. He was also slated to command the first manned Apollo flight. However, on January 27, 1967, during a ground test of the Apollo spacecraft, while it sat on Pad 34, a cabin fire broke out, taking the lives of Gus Grissom, as well as his fellow crewmates Ed White and Roger Chaffee. During a deep sea salvage expedition funded by the Discovery Channel, Liberty Bell 7 was finally hoisted aboard a recovery ship on July 20th, 1999, almost 40 years to the day of her July 21st, 1961 splashdown. The capsule was eventually brought to the Kansas Cosmosphere and Space Center in Hutchinson, Kansas, where it was painstakingly restored and where it is now on permanent display. Here's how it appeared when I was at the museum in 2012. The collectible we look at today spent nearly 40 years on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean inside Liberty Bell 7. Enshrined within this limited edition acrylic is a length of film taken from Liberty Bell 7 during her restoration.
During the capsule's nearly 40 years on the ocean floor, the camera in which this film was housed dissolved and the film fell to the floor of the capsule, where it was encased in mud and corroding debris. The film was exposed and unsalvageable. Printed on the collectible is information that tells us the film was inside the pilot observation camera that was mounted in the main control panel to capture the astronaut's actions and movements. The collectible also tells us the limited edition set was issued in commemoration of the 40th anniversary of the flight of Liberty Bell 7. Finally, Note that printed in the corner are numbers, indicating my acrylic is number 564 of an edition of a thousand that were issued. Did you know that Gus Grissom was one of America's original seven Mercury astronauts? Do you know the names of the other six? Please leave a comment below letting me know what you think of the content shown here on Manned Space. Thanks again for watching Manned Space. Please watch for upcoming videos at least twice a week, during which I'll discuss the history of the space program by highlighting artifacts and memorabilia from my extensive space collection. Also, please like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more great content about manned space.